Hi guys, and welcome to my new video series, which is going to be my Lake Placid um, vlog series. Before I start, where have I been? After Ultraman, I decided to take some time off, so I took two weeks of just basically lounging around on the couch to recover from an arduous event. Did nothing for two weeks, just watched movies, uh, TV shows, got absolutely bored out my brain. So after two weeks, I just started to... Just do things that I enjoyed for an hour a day. So I limited it to one hour per day exercise. So I was, I, you've seen in my other video series on the gravel bike. I did a gravel bike riding with my friend. I took up trail running. I'd never run trails before. I, I really enjoy that. So I've been doing trail running. Just uh, like interval sessions just to maintain, say, VO2. Uh, and just enjoyable Zwift rides. Like just, you know, picking a, a course and riding it. Not really caring about power. And so I'm just staying active. Then, because I had put so much time into Ultraman, we went on a cruise with the family to Bermuda, um, basically just to let go. So I did one run the whole time I was on the cruise, and then I just um, drunk alcohol like nobody's business, uh, ate whatever the hell I want, slept in every day, and did nothing. I uh, got back from the cruise last night, and now today my Lake Placid day one, it all begins. Uh, today it's raining there's four days of just solid rain here in philadelphia it's about eight degrees celsius uh, i've got a two hour run so i'm going to risk it and try and run outside and then later on in the afternoon i'll come back have some lunch later on in the afternoon i will be going to the pool for just a light two and a half thousand yard swim it's kind of like a recovery uh, i'm going to go over my plan how i'm going to approach lake placid uh at it, coming up shortly but for today it's a long run lunch and I'm back. So it's back on the grind. It's been a terrible week in uh, Philly. Just pouring, pouring, pouring rain all week. Uh, my daughters are back to activities. My youngest is doing karate and parkour. So it's three days a week. So I've been having to go out in the pouring rain to take them. My oldest is doing uh, volleyball and acting or drama. So I've been getting soaked the whole week. Doing the ride inside today, ironically, it's uh, pretty sunny and nice outside. This is a three hour ride, it's meant to be four, but the school's got half days, so I can't do the four hour ride today. I'm still getting in the three key sessions, which is uh, three times 12 minutes at threshold. Uh, spending the time finishing watching Walking Dead, uh, the Rick Grimes one, excellent series. Doing some research on bike packing, I'm buying all the stuff to do some bike packing this spring, summer. Uh, the ride has got two hours to go. Tomorrow it's a brick session, ride, run. Hopefully this hot weather stays. I might actually do it outside to beat this rain. And once I finish this, I'll go over my plan. So I received this package that I ordered about uh, two months ago. Uh, it took a while to get here from Etsy for my trainer. I'll open it up and have a look. It's like a poor man's um, it's a poor man's rocker plate, so you put tennis balls in here. I, there should be four of them. It just suddenly got really dark in here. Two, I don't know what that gunk is on there. I don't know if that's I'll see if I can see. You can see in the light there's like all this gunk on there. I don't know if that's normal from the 3D printing process. But um, I thought because uh, when, I, when I was doing my... Oh, there's another one that's got it as well. And it, it looks like they've all got it actually, except this one. When I was doing my Ultraman training... Um, so this looks to be pretty straightforward. I just pull these things off. I've just taken this one off already. You can see it's just circular. This thing is circular. I got these tennis balls for uh, ten of them for eleven bucks from Amazon. They just clip into the bottom here. That's it. And then this thing will sit on here. If I just put that on, so it's sitting on. One thing I don't know about. If you can see this angle in here, there's a lot of space there. So perhaps I don't take this plastic rubbery part off. So we'll try it with that. 
So that, that proof looks like the correct way. You can see I just slid the rubbery part inside there. Obviously with these ones, I'm just gonna leave them on. So I put this back on now. So that's on, I just slapped it with my hand. You can see this part here, it's come through to there, so I don't think I can go much further. I just, uh, this is a pretty thick rubber mat as well, so it's gonna have a, a lot of movement. So I'm just gonna go through now and put them on the, all the other three. So this wasn't as easy uh, as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if you can, you can see this line here. This is where the previous one used to come to. I can't just slide this on, so I've had to remove the bike. I'm going to tip it sideways and kind of bang it from the top. Hopefully slide it on there. I don't want to bang this thing too hard because it's like plastic, some sort of plastic, so I don't want to break it. You can see the back one as well. Like Here's the line here. Still got a long way to slide in. This one here, long way to slide in. The back one, I didn't even know. I just assumed that was on, so I'm gonna tip it up and try and gently nudge it from the top. Okay, so I had to tip it up, tip it on its side. Oh, you can tell by my breathing, it's a bit of work. I just use my hand to sort of jiggle it on like that and just give it a slap every now and then. I think it's on pretty good now. Um, I've got a two, two hour 45 zone two ride tomorrow, so I'm gonna Give it a test run then, like just looking at it now, there's not much movement in terms of rocking. So I'll test it out. Uh, one thing I've, I can do is switch these balls out for large dog balls, which are an extra inch bigger than these tennis balls if I want to get more movement. So I'll, I'll see tomorrow. So just following up on what I'd said earlier, where, I'm, where am I at now? Uh, I had taken the, the full week at the cruise. We cruised to Bermuda. Uh, there's a massive storm. We went to spend four days in Bermuda. We only spent two. Delayed a day getting there, then two days in the Bermuda, then had to leave early because another storm was coming. Uh, we had this all inclusive package. I drank way too much alcohol. I was keeping a tally. I had uh, in the seven days 52 cocktails and three beers. So I think that might be, since I've come back, I've been training really poorly. I think that the alcohol might still be in my system. Uh, so I'm give it another week, I think, before I can get back to proper training. Uh, I failed a number of threshold tests on the bike. I'm probably going to do an FTP test next week to confirm. But in terms of where, um, also my dog has been sick. He's um, old. He's 13 and a half. Had a massive infection on his neck, as you can see. Um, he also had an ear infection at the same time, and he had a gum infection. So he got treated for that. The end result was all his teeth were removed. He only had seven left anyway, but they had to remove the last ones. Um, and so we've sort of just been adjusting to him and his new diet and so on. In terms of my season ahead, my last big race, I've got uh, 70.3 New York, and um, which was where I got injured last year, and Lake Placid Ironman, 25th anniversary. I'm going to go on make myself accountable here. My rec my goal for Ironman, you can see Chattanooga I did in 12 and a half, Maryland in 11.54. That was what, I was sick of COVID. So you see the dates, September 17th, September 20th, they're a week apart. So I did, as a challenge with my friend to do back-to-back -back Ironmans in, each weekend. Uh, I was pretty sick of COVID for Chattanooga. Uh, the other Ironman was my very first one in Florida. So Placid's going to be my fourth. My goal is to do sub 12 hours at Lake Placid. I'm saying that now to go on record, to challenge myself, hold myself accountable. Uh, and I've got about three months to train for it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get there. So this is what my training week looks like this week. It's about a 13 hours, I think, 13 hour training week. Uh, just to ease it back in, I'm gonna be heading to about 20, 20 to 22 hours a week of training. Uh, just it's going to be the same structure every week so long runs are on monday tuesday you can see here i missed my strength I, I have to work out the strength because i think it's definitely going to be on a tuesday i don't know why i missed this week i think i forgot to be honest uh, this is going to be a longer zone two ride wednesday is going to be my longest swim here it's four thousand yards it's 3600 meters uh, i'm going to build that to about um probably six five and a half to six thousand yards Thursday is my long bike ride. I failed this miserably. Um, 
There was three 12 minute threshold sessions. I could only do one and a half and then my threshold completely gave in. Uh, again, I'm missing this, so this is not really practical here. I've got to work out where the second weight session is going to be. Tomorrow's the brick, so you can see 2 hour 45 on the bike and a 45 minute run. And then uh, Saturday, I've penciled this in here as my interval session, but this is also the day that I go trail running. It's been raining all week, so I think I'm going to do this this week because the trails are going to be wrecked. Um, but I might have to move this somewhere else. Uh, and finally, Sunday is my interval session on the bike. Before we get back to Monday, which will be my long run again. So you can see what I'm trying to do is follow a uh, a plan where I... Um, oh, sorry, the other thing is here is the swimming. So Friday, I'm also doing 3,600 3, yards tomorrow, which will bring my weekly total to about 11,000. I'm going to have that at about 15. So I'm going to be swimming Monday, Wednesday, Friday... Uh, and probably a recovery swim on Sunday as well. Uh, so what, what I'm trying to do is um, mimic a race. So you can see my biggest swim leads into my biggest bike, uh, which bike continues here, leads into my runs. So what I want to do is run off the bike just in zone two and then pick up some power toward the end of the week to sort of, my legs will be fatigued at this point, but I want to pump, punch out... Um, punch out uh, you know some quality power then my speed session on the bike again leading into a long run off the bike and that's how I do it each week I just play around with those numbers uh, so that's pretty much my lead into Lake Placid I'm going to be as I mentioned previously putting out about two videos a week uh, so hopefully as I mentioned please smash the like button and subscribe if you want to follow along on the journey